Plugging <laughs> chickens picking out a mate. Guess I'll marry eight. Try this on for size. Foodies in a half shell. Given the dietary habits of tortoises, what would the Teenage Mutant Ninja tortoises most likely order at Pizza Hut? A Super Supreme Pizza? Meat Lover's Pizza? Hold the pizza meat only? A Veggie Lover's Pizza? Or no pizza, just a two liter of Coke? Now the right answer is number three, but you remember the wrong answer of the game? Super Supreme Pizza. No, no, I'll get this. Unlike turtles, most tortoises are herbivores, meaning they only eat plants. So the Teenage Mutant Ninja Tortoises would probably order the Veggie Lover's Pizza. Also, and I've done some research on this, very few tortoises are actually ninjas. This pizza has the wrong answer baked right into the crust. But your supreme mistake has brought you a supreme reward because you've just won... Supreme Court Children's Vitamins. Nothing keeps children happy and healthy like John Roberts, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, and Samuel Alito. Yay! Yeah! <laughs> oh, here's Thomas! Today's wrong answer of the game brings you an extra $8,000. Surprise. Nobody wants questions. <laughs> <laughs> this one's called Girl Got Issues. If Joan of Arc revealed her visions on the Dr. Phil show, what would he tell her? Let's get real, you don't really want to kill your dad. Maybe the dragon you're really afraid of is you. Talking to saints is just one tool from the religious shed. Or, get your head out of the gutter. Well, she did talk to saints, but Watch hey look, a bowling reference. Here's where the money is. Joan of Arc claimed to hear the voices of Saints Michael, Catherine, and Margaret, which persuaded her to save France from the English attempt at conquest in the 100 Years' War. But Dr. Phil only answers to one voice, and that's Oprah. No, her head wasn't in the gutter. And you know what else is never in the gutter? A one-hole fistable bowling ball. Just like the one you just won from Fistable Bowling Equipment, Inc. Because when life gives you a 7-10 split, you should fist it hard. Today's wrong answer of the game is worth a tidy 4,000 bucks. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you and me both. Try this on for size. A fun string theory question. Which of these children's string, string games would the girls in the Crucible be suspected of playing? Cat's Cradle, Apache Door, Sea Snake, or Witch's Broom? I know they were witches, but scene number one? Yeah. Remember the sponsor, folks? Cradles. One right answer coming up. The Crucible by Arthur Miller is about the Salem Witch Trials. Man, it must have been crazy to live in a time where everyone was really paranoid and suspected every other person of being a terrorist. I'm glad we live in today. No, and cats don't oh, belong in a wait. cradle. But you know what does? Water, like in a water crib. Just like the one you won from Buoyant Baby Water Cribs. Buoyant Baby Water Cribs. Your baby will drown in comfort. Today's wrong answer of the game is accompanied by an $8,000 cash bonus. Have at it. Cha-ching! Plugging chickens, picking out a mate. I doubt they'd be better than meat balls, though. Why not try... Don't eat the brown aspic. Which of these jam bands is singing a song about jam? Moe singing my mashed fruit pulp and all? Widespread Panic singing I'll heat you to a paste? The Grateful Dead singing fruit juice gel of love? Or Fish singing you're bitter? You know, I'm gonna go with the fish for this. This would have worked. Jam is made of fruits mashed whole, whereas jelly is made of fruit juice. Come on, is that Marmalade the wrong is answer? often bitter and jello jigglers jiggle. So why is it when you're hanging outside a Mo concert, all you can find to eat is a sandwich made of organic mushrooms, hemp, and seven grain bread? That was a fishy answer. Got it! So here's something fishy in return. Your very own fat mouth fascist fish from the <laughs> annoying animatronic fish company. Because if you hang it up on a wall, it should talk. <laughs> Today's wrong answer of the game is worth a whopping $8,000. Enjoy. Here's one for you. I'd like to make a reservation for 6.3 people, please. 
Based on the average household size in the United States, what might you expect to hear at one of these restaurants? Table for 2.6 at the Cheesecake Factory, table for 2.9 oh, at Red I Robin, see table special. for 3.2 at Denny's, or table for 3.5 at Cracker Barrel. This has to be it. Were you thinking of this one? The average American household yep. is made up of 2.6 people, give or take an arm or a torso. Though if you base it on weight, that number increases significantly after eating a Cheesecake Factory. You're wrong! Wow, that was a lot more fun than a barrel of crackers. <laughs> and speaking of barrels, you want a designer barrel courtesy of our sponsor, Fashion Barrel Barrelware. You're going to like the way you look. In a barrel, I guarantee it. In a barrel. This wrong answer of the game has earned you a sweet 8,000 clams. Well done. Say hello to getting shot with a t-shirt gun. That if hurts, the mascot folks. for the San Jose Sharks wanted to mirror the feud in West Side Story, what team would he taunt with vicious finger snaps? The Houston Rockets, the New York Jets, the LA Clippers, or the Indiana Pacers? It would be the Jets, but I see Clippers. It was begging to be picked. The Jets are the rivals to the Sharks in West Side Story. So while it would be weird for a hockey mascot to taunt a football mascot, you can't always predict hate. But for the sake of innocent civilians, hopefully the mindless violence wouldn't escalate to drive-by dancings. You just clipped yourself. But you know what can clip yourself and a significant other? A tandem toenail clipper, just like the one you won from Romantic Clip Tandem Toenail Clippers. Because you can't spell cuticle yeah, without cute. This wrong answer of the game is worth $4,000. Congratulations. <laughs> Next, honk if horny. If car horns only played songs that came from the same country as the cars were originally manufactured in, which horn would come with the BMW? Horn one, La Cucaracha. Horn two, O Tannenbaum. Horn three, The Streets of Cairo. Or horn four, Dixieland. Look, the wrong answer of the game. I so wanted you to pick this one. The BMW and the Christmas song O Tannenbaum are both German. I'm not sure what country my car is from exactly, but based on the horn, it's wherever that I'm a Barbie girl song was recorded. BMWs probably wouldn't play a Spanish song like La Cucaracha. But since La Cucaracha means the cockroach, it is a song you might want to play while enjoying a year's supply of... Roach Butter from Granny's Roach Butter. Only Grandma has the loving patience to milk a roach. You'll be happy to know this wrong answer of the game comes with $4,000. Congrats. Can milk a roach? <laughs> Yet. Good enough for me. And on its way, I love you, Meth Cooper. I've been watching Ew. that AMC show, Breaking Bad, about a high school chemistry teacher who uses his science powers for evil by manufacturing drugs. And speaking of chemistry, the title Breaking Bad contains several chemical symbols such as BR, K, N, and BA. So now it's time for a chemistry pop quiz. Which of those symbols have I matched with the wrong name? Bromine, BR, potassium, K, nickel, N, or barium, BA? Potassium. Bananas. Oh, honestly. N stands for nitrogen. Nickel is N-I. Chemistry was never my strong suit in high school. And by that I mean I didn't have chemistry with anyone of the opposite sex or the same sex, really. No, for some reason, K is the symbol for potassium. Just like there's an abundance of potassium in bananas, which will go great with your... Brand new banana toaster from Brown Anna's Banana Toasters. Because bananas were never meant to be eaten at room temperature. This wrong answer of the game is worth 8,000 bucks for you. Nice job. I'll take it. And on its way, I said help, not kelp.
Who could really use a hand? Luke Skywalker, Lord Voldemort, Bazooka Joe, or Captain Ahab? Okay, Luke lost his hand, but... Yeah, let's try it. Ahab. Now pay attention. If you remember, I Luke lost it. his hand in episode 5 when his dad cut it off with his big flashlight sword thingy. So he could really use a hand. Sure, Luke eventually got a prosthesis, but it never felt quite right. Why? Well, he just couldn't put his finger on it. Now, Captain Ahab could use a leg. You know what else he could use? A stylish pants! Like the one you've just won from Hopalong Harry's One Leg at a Time Pantorium. Your one-stop shop for fine pants and slack. Today's wrong answer of the game is worth a whopping $8,000. Enjoy. I'm speechless on that one. How about Undead Anatomy? Which of these movie monsters is truly heartless? The Mummy, Dracula, Frankenstein's Monster, or the Wolfman? Uh, the Mummy, but wait a minute, blood. Smart people choose this. A mummy's organs are removed and placed in jars during mummification, so the mummy would not have a heart. Though mummification was perfected over thousands of years, the Egyptians always had difficulty removing the water on the knee without the tweezers touching the metal sides of the game board. Then what is that red stuff shooting out of his chest when he gets a stake in the heart? What is it? Why, it's blood, of course. You just won blood from Blood Co. We have blood. Why do you need to know where it came from? This wrong answer of the game is worth $4,000. Congratulations. I don't really need to know if I... Where's the bomb, girl? Rock my world, girl. Ooh, oh, yeah. I like Hogan's Heroes. Here's one I like In to call doses. Lady Luck is a Dirty oh. Tramp. Which casino game takes a lot of balls to play? Roulette, Kino, Craps, or Baccarat? You know, I know it's Kino, but Craps, Outhouses. Ready for this? Kino is a game of chance similar to Lotto that uses 80 balls circulating in an enclosed bubble. So it takes a lot of balls to play it. When playing Kino, it also helps to have a really big sack to put your winnings in. Well, you just took a crap on this question. But you know where you should have taken that crap? In an indoor outhouse. Why Just does it like have a drawer? One, one from Country Charm Indoor I, Outhouses. Take care of your business. I'm gonna and think about that for a while, and I don't really that want uncomfortable to. Uncomfortable feel. Today's wrong answer of the game earns you four thousand bucks. Enjoy. I can't think of any either right now. Here's a good one. This, that, and the other question. Who is the eponymous character on Seinfeld? George, Jerry, Elaine, or Cosmo? You know, Jerry would seem to be the right... But Cosmo's a girly drink, isn't it? Smart people choose this. The character Jerry's last name is Seinfeld, making him the eponymous character in the show. Another word for this is titular. He's the titular character in the show. And speaking of titular, he's real and he's spectacular. No, Kramer wasn't the right answer. But a Cosmo might be the right drink for these assorted tiny umbrellas you've just won from the girly drink supply warehouse. Assorted tiny umbrellas keep your wet drinks dry. This wrong answer of the game just got you an extra 4,000 smackers. Congratulations. I don't want to think about that too much. Never let me go. Coming up, the naming of the shrew. Who has a name that does not claim to identify where they're from? Leonardo da Vinci, Charles de Gaulle, Milhouse Van Houten, or Pepe Le Pew? Now pay attention. Da, de, and van all essentially mean of or from, but le just means the, as in Pepe the Pew. Which leads me to the timeless question. Would you rather smell the pew or smell of pew? No, that roughly translates to Charles of or from Gaul. And speaking of things made of or from Gaul, you've won. 
A necklace made of fabulous gallstones from You've Got Gall Gallstone Jewelers. These stones have passed straight from someone's body and into your heart. This wrong answer of the game has earned you a sweet 8,000 clams. Well done. And on its way, you can Olympic your nose. Which of these events might occur if the Olympics were held on Olympus Mons? A biathlon through the Gobi Desert, figure skating in Antarctica, water polo in the Pacific Ocean, or mountain biking on Mars? Want to see the answer? Olympus Mons, the largest volcano in the solar system, is located on the surface of Mars. Hmm, Olympic mountain biking. I know I look forward to it every four years. <clears throat> Olympus Mons is not in the desert. <laughs> but speaking of deserts, you've won your very own albino cactus from the world famous What a Prick Cactus Company. The only thing green will be all of your friends with envy. Today's wrong answer of the game is accompanied by an $8,000 cash bonus. Have at it. I would imagine. Here's one for you, a racy sport. Suppose Speed Racer enters a NASCAR race. If he receives the black flag, what should he do? Go to slow pace, Speed Racer, go! Go pull over, Speed Racer, go! Go floor it, Speed Racer, go! Go in reverse, Speed Racer, go! Go floor it? Why not? It was begging to be picked. A black flag means the driver needs to pull over into the pit, usually due to a rule violation. Not positive it's a rule violation, but I'm pretty sure it's not a good idea to have a monkey in the passenger seat of a Mach 5 car. He's usually in the trunk. No, he shouldn't floor it. <laughs> but you know who should floor it? You! Because you just won some edible carpet. Compliments of Rug Muncher's Dietary Flooring. With more fiber than your morning cereal, it'll keep you regular. This wrong answer of the game has earned more you $4,000. Don't spend else it all in one place. This one's known as 20,000 Leagues Under Admission Requirements. If the Justice League had a superhero student exchange with the Ivy League, which of these superheroes would be taking advantage of the program? The Flash studying physics at Penn State, Wonder Woman learning Greek at Colgate, Batman studying zoology at Dartmouth, or Superman studying astronomy at William & Mary? Now see, the correct answer is number three, but number two, Colgate, is too much time left. Watch how easy this is. Dartmouth is one of the eight universities in the Ivy League. Some of the lesser superheroes didn't qualify for the exchange program, but Aquaman found a really great mail correspondence course in locksmithing. Colgate? I think you've developed a cavity between your ears. But luckily, you can brush off anything ruining your buzz with a toothpaste keg. From our wrong answer of the day sponsor, Grin Toothpaste Kegs, putting the party in your mouth since 1901. This wrong answer of the game nets you a handsome 8,000 See, that's bucks. only a step yeah, up welcome. from the pumps that I used to use. I could use that. Take a stab at Gek of the Morning to ya. Imagine that the Geico Gecko saved so much money on car insurance that he quit show business. What would he be able to do at his retirement party? Kiss all the ladies with his forked tongue? Breathe with gills in his disco-lighted hot tub? Hang from the chandelier with his adhesive pads? Or show off by killing a mouse with his poisonous bite? Forked tongue. Let's go for it. Hello? Here's what a right answer looks like. Although they don't have forked tongues, gills, or poisonous bites, geckos do have adhesive pads on their feet for climbing. Very few, interestingly enough, walk on their hind legs, speak, or give <laughs> yeah. a shit about car insurance. Geckos do not have forked tongues. But speaking of forks, you've won an electronic spoon from Digitensil's Electronic Utensils. Take the manual labor out of your meals. Aww. This wrong answer of the game has netted you an extra 4,000. Congratulations. Four. <laughs> uh. 
This one's known as hot body language. Based on his discovery, what pickup line would Joseph Henry most likely use on a girl he's interested in? I don't I'd know like who to Joseph ride your Henry Pony is. Express. I've seen you telegraph me signals all night. I'm a man, you're a woman. Let's face the facts. Or I lost my cell number. Can I have yours? I don't know the answer, but Watch hey, cell. It was begging to be picked. Joseph Henry I got is it. credited for developing the telegraph in 1831. And if you thought sexting was racy, you should have heard what they sent back then. Whoa! That is rated NC-17. No, he wouldn't have access to his cell. But you know who does? You, because you just won an amoeba from Crazy Eddie's Discount Amoebas. Life is complicated. Your pets shouldn't be. Today's wrong <laughs> answer of the game is worth a tidy 4,000 bucks. There you go. Just couldn't see it. Oh well. Oh, I love you too. Bucker up for. There's no Siegfried Fischbacher in team. Being part of a famous duo like Simon and Garfunkel or Tegan and Sarah must be tough. They must want to yell, I am an individual and not just part of this machine. Which of the following would be accurate if one of the duo's members insisted on using his full name? Brooks and Ronnie Dunn, Cheech and Jackie Chung, Penn and Brad Teller, or Hall and Mark Oates? I'm... Hall and Hallmark. The correct answer is... All right. <laughs> <laughs> the country duo Brooks and Dunn is made up of Kix Brooks, seriously, and Ronnie Dunn. I've always been a solo performer, but I did briefly do a show called Cookie and Cream. I wasn't part of a duo, it was just me dancing around in whipped cream. Hey look, I had to pay my way through college somehow. I didn't nope, need to Darryl know Hall that. performs with John Oates. But that Hall and Mark combination does work when talking about greeting cards. Get it? Hallmark? And you've just won a love coupon from the Insincere Greeting Card Factory. Gifts for when people care just enough to do the very least. <laughs> Try our massage coupons and free hug coupons today. This wrong answer of the game comes with a bundle of cash worth $8,000. Congratulations. And I needed it. Here's a good one. Books have them big words in them. Which best-selling children's book could be considered an epistolary book? Fun with Dick and Jane, Good Night Moon, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, or Where the Wild Things Are? Oh, I have no idea. Not a clue. Let's go with the first one. Now pay attention. An epistolary novel relies on a series whoa, whoa, of wait, correspondence, wait. usually oh, God, Dick letters, Stickies. or sometimes diary entries to tell the ha! story. So if Random House were to somehow get their hands on my life's correspondence with Coolio, it would also be classified as an epistolary <laughs> novel. Dick and Jane doesn't fit. But you know what always fits? A brand new Dickie compliments of Dick's Dickies. The comfort of an ascot meets the character of a turtleneck sweater. Who can resist? Dick's Dickies. Today's wrong answer of the game brings you an extra $8,000. Surprise. Wow. That's what I get for not paying attention to anything beyond Keanu Reeves and Next the Matrix. Up, show me your O face. Which company's brand name is not spelled with a negative O? Jello, Brillo, Genio, or Whammo? Magic pudding. Want to see the answer? Brillo, the company that makes Brillo pads, is just spelled B R I L L O, no dash. But I really love Brillo. It's a product I use. How else do you think I keep my skin so blemish free? Ah! Yeah, that looks good. Ah! People who choose wrong answers don't get any pudding. <laughs> Unless you pick the wrong answer of the game, and then you get 
Magic pudding. Yes, you want some magic pudding brand pudding. That does not look like pudding. At magic pudding. Warning. Magic pudding is meant for entertainment purposes only. Magic pudding does not in fact contain any magical properties. Magic pudding cannot make you fly or read minds. In fact, magic pudding doesn't even taste very good. Consult a doctor before eating magic pudding. This wrong answer of the game comes with a bundle of cash worth $8,000. Congratulations. Pork and chicken is picking out a mate. Guess I'll marry eight. Coming up, I don't. I do. If TV's The Bachelor surprised his oh, one true love mind. with a trip to the wedding invitation store, which of the following acronyms might the couple come across? WTF, STD, SOL, or DOA? Could be one. Oh, wait, DOA. Hang on. One right answer coming up. Yeah, that's Save it. Save the dates. The first wedding invitations that are sent out are somehow commonly referred to as STDs. I can't tell you how many STDs I've acquired over the years. Oh, well, maybe someday I'll be the one giving the STDs. Oh, this answer is dead on arrival. <laughs> just like the designer body bag you've just won from Ted's Drop Dead Gorgeous Body Bag. Moral print. Because form follows function, but fashion follows you to well, the I grave. Guess feed flowers Today's afterward. wrong answer of the game is worth a whopping $8,000. Enjoy. Anybody think that Stephen Hawking needs to do a whole episode and of this? On its way, I do. Question number five. A lot of people consider Lou Bega to be a one-hit wonder with his song Mambo Number no. Five, but I have to disagree. It's only been a little over a decade since the song came out, people. There's still plenty of time for him to have another hit that sounds vaguely like his first. So, if Lou Bega wrote a Not song about all the dancing live. girls he met in Brazil, what would it be called? Cha-cha number five, salsa number five, samba number five, or Roomba number five? It's a sump. Wait, Roomba. Robot. Let's go with it. Next time, try this. The samba <laughs> was it. developed in Brazil in the 19th century. So the next time you go to Lowe's, be nice to the cashier, because he may just have another hit on the way. No, this would be the robot vacuum dance. And this robot isn't going to help you. But you know what robot will? A reformed evil robot. Just like the one you won from the reformed robot's house cleaning company. The only mine they'll be blowing is your figurative one due to their exemplary service. Today's wrong answer of the game earns you 4,000 bucks. But the guns. Still there. Oh. Try this on for size. Doctor person, medicine person. Which of these doctors might be called if the ghost of Doc Holliday were haunting a Wild West ghost town? Yeet. Dr. Zhivago, Dr. Venkman, Dr. Faustus, or Dr. Moreau? Okay, Dr. Moreau was the one that put animals together. Let me show you something. Dr. Venkman is one of the main characters in Ghostbusters. Yes. You could also call TV's The Ghost Hunters, TV's The Ghost Whisperer, or of course, TV's Scooby-Doo. I no, do a Scooby-Doo myself. Dr. on an island full of interesting animal hybrids like a hyena swine and a leopard man. <laughs> and you know what else is an interesting animal hybrid? A pinguot, just like the one you just won hey, from what? Salvador's Unnecessary King Animal Hybrids. King Salvador's Unnecessary Animal King Hybrids. Okay. Turning yeah. necessary animals into superfluous freaks since 1934. This wrong answer of the game has earned you $4,000. Don't too. spend it all in one place. We can get more. Pork and chicken is picking out a mate. Oh. Guess I'll marry eight. And now, what's inside Richard Hatch? Okay, I know Lost has been off the air for a little while now, but I keep re-watching the DVDs because I still don't understand what happened. What the f***? One question. Why did the writers write so many British characters? Charles Widmore, Eloise Hawking, Desmond, Charlie? Is it because people with British accents sound more mysterious? Hmm. Anyway, which lost character is not doing something British? Jack Shepard eating shepherd's pie, Kate Austin reading Jane Austen, John Locke studying philosopher John Locke, or the smoke monster eating smoke monster cheese? Huh. Jack Shepard, huh? Here's what a right answer looks yeah. like. Yeah! 
Monster there we cheese, go. smoked or not, is actually an American cheese. It originated right here in America. Oh, this just reminds me the smoke monster never even had a name. Unless there are clues hidden in the show to the smoke monster's name. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to watch all the episodes again. <laughs> Surprise! Jack is wrong. <laughs> but if you hate being surprised by a Jack, you're gonna love your brand new... No surprise, Jack in the Box. From our wrong answer of the game sponsor, <laughs> no surprise, Jack in the Boxes. If you love children's toys but hate sudden movements, then this no surprise, Jack in the Box is for you. This wrong answer of the game has earned you a sweet 8,000 clams. Well done. Let me never let me go. Here we have Madden is hell. If John Madden could only announce primetime football games using only prime numbers, what score could he announce? 9 to 12, 24 to 13, 31 to 17, or 41 to 33? One right answer coming up. 31 and 17 are both numbers that are only divisible by one and itself. Therefore, they're both prime numbers. My dad had a similar disorder, except he couldn't say the word son and love in the same sentence. 9 to 12? No, those are the grades of high school, grades 9 through 12. <laughs> and you know what that means? You've won a 1994 Owensville High School letter jacket with the name Mike on it from the Owensville High School Lost and Found Outlet Store. Because someone's personal memories are lost until you find it. This wrong answer of the game is worth 8,000 bucks for you. Nice job. Question. Yeah, that one would be disappointing. Here we have, I'm self-conscious about my Harry Potter. Which of these Harry, Harry Potter characters has the least melanin in his hair? Albus Dumbledore, Rubius Hagrid, Sirius Black, or Ron Weasley? Hmm. Weasels. It was begging to be picked. Dumbledore has white hair, which is caused by the absence of melanin. I'm sure he could just create a spell to darken his hair, but he's probably afraid he'll just end up looking like one of the guys from ZZ Top. But that would no, be awesome. No, Weasley isn't right. <laughs> but you just ha! weaseled your way into... Winning a generous supply of weasel jerky from Fat Jim's Weasel Jerky. It's technically edible. This wrong answer of the game nets you a handsome 8,000 bucks. Yeah, you're welcome. Ooh. How about USA, the network so great they named a country after it? That's USA bad. Network slogan, characters welcome, really confuses me. Am I the character and I'm welcome to watch the network? In which case, thank you, USA. Or are there characters on their shows and I'm not the character and does that mean I'm not welcome? I wonder if they could make it more confusing. Suppose the USA Network changed their slogan to characters based on other fictional characters welcome. Which of these shows would they air? Burn Notice, House, Monk, or Psych? You know, I think number... Let's... I think burn notice relates to our wrong answer. Oh, you're gonna kick yourself. Dr. Gregory House's character is based on Sherlock Holmes. You know, the detective. Also little known fact, Jack Bauer from 24 is loosely based on Winnie the Pooh. Think about it. Oh, you just got burned. <laughs> and that now, was right. so can your toddler or infant. With a baby tanning bed courtesy of Bernie's Baby Browning Tanning Beds. Baby, say bye-bye to embarrassing diaper lines today. This wrong answer of the game is worth $4,000. Congratulations. Ah. Uh, dinner and a show. Up next. You can tell I'm acting because I'm yelling! You ever notice there are just some actors who tend to play the title characters in all their movies? For example, yeah. Sylvester Stallone, Rocky, Rambo, Judge Dredd, Tango and Cash. Anyway, in which Al Pacino movie does Pacino not play the title character? Scarface, The Godfather Part 2, Donnie Brasco, or You Don't Know Jack? Huh. I have no idea. Wait, Scar? Nah. 
You know what? I'm gonna try that. Scarface is the wrong answer of the game. Oh, you're gonna kick yourself. I'm right. Al Pacino did not play Donnie Brasco and Donnie Brasco. Johnny Depp did. Which leads nicely into the question, will Johnny Depp ever play another character in a movie that doesn't involve him wearing makeup and a strange hat and standing in front of a green screen? <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> and by little friend, I of course mean this. Medical procedure velvet painting from beautiful on the inside surgical artwork. You like scar faces, scar bellies, scar butts? I you put it on my them. wall. It's art. It's art that produces scars. It's scart. This wrong answer of the Scarts. game just got you an extra 4,000 snackers. Congratulations. Blood and chicken is picking out a mate. Oh. Guess I'll marry eight. This one's called... The Incredible Who? What might the Incredible Hulk yell if he started referring to himself by his real name? Leave the Tony alone! The John will smash you! Don't laugh at the Peter! The Bruce is mad! The John, huh? I know the real answer is number four, but the John just screams toilet to me. What? No, no, I'll get this. The Incredible Hulk, when <laughs> not it. green and angry, is known as mild-mannered Bruce Banner. There really are a ton of superheroes named Bruce. Bruce Banner, Bruce Wayne, uh, Bruce Willis and Unbreakable. Uh, Bruce Lee is kind of a dead superhero. Um, Bruce, uh, Hornsby. No, his name is not John. But you know what you could use while going to the John? A beautiful new toilet ottoman from Potaman Toilet Ottomans. Put your feet up when you sit your ass down. Today's wrong answer of the game gets you another 8,000 on top of your current score. Sweet. Aww. Here's one I like to call Antonio Banderas's sexy sauce making machine. Suppose Zoro wants to make some orzo using his sword. Which TV infomercial product could help make the proper what? ingredients for Zoro's orzo? Jack LaLanne's power juicer, the Breadman bread machine, the Ronco automatic pasta maker, or the George Foreman grill? Oh lord, I don't know what orzo is. Wait, Time's almost up. Grill? It's so obvious. Orzo is a rice-shaped pasta, so he could make some pasta, then uh -huh. slice it into tiny Grilled bits of sandwiches. orzo with his sword. I don't know, though. I got Last lucky. Last time I let Zoro cook for me, I pulled out a giant curly Z from my paella. You just got grilled. And when I say grilled, I mean grilled. Like this Abraham Lincoln grilled cheese sandwich from Mr. Cow's Presidential Grilled Cheese Sandwiches. That does look Mr. like a tasty Cow's, grilled cheese. All your cheese sandwich needs in one online location. This wrong answer of the game is worth 8,000 bucks for you. Nice job. Yeah, that works. Say hello to... I cordially invite you to bring it on. Who dances in the most trashy way? The Rockettes, the Riverdance Company, Stomp, or New York City Ballet Company? Oh look, the Rockettes. The most trashy way? I believe Stomp actually uses trash, but... Why didn't you pick this? Stomp is a dance group known for implementing everyday items into their dance routine, including brooms, bins, and trash cans. I sat there for two hours, and honestly, I thought those people were stagehands cleaning everything up so the show could start. I was confused, <laughs> but only because I thought I was in the theater that was showing puppetry of the penis. No, they just kick really high. And I know of another rocket that goes far up in the air. A hamster rocket, like the one you just won from Rocky's Rodent Rockets. Cause life is too short to spend spinning in a wheel. Use a rocket instead. Today's no, I just wrong need the hamster. The game is accompanied by an $8,000 cash bonus. Have at it. You're wearing them, aren't you? May I introduce Museum of Ein Farts? 
Okay, okay, enough childish humor. I can be sophisticated too. Which of the following natural landmarks is closest to MoMA, the world famous Museum of Modern Art? Home to important works by Van Gogh, Gauguin, Matisse, Cezanne, and countless others. Lake Titicaca, okay. Big Bone Lake State Park, Knob Hill, or the Finger Lakes? Uh, I have no idea, but Knob Hill, huh? Smart people choose this. Haha, <laughs> got the it. Mama is in New York City and the <clears throat> Finger Lakes are in upstate New York. Whew. If we get any more sophisticated, I'm going to have to turn in my tuxedo t-shirt for a real life t-shirt. <laughs> Knob. No, no. <laughs> but you're lucky I like saying knob because you've just won a bunch of knobs from Bob's Knob Shop. If you have knob needs, Bob's the man for the job. Enjoy Bob's Knobs. Today's wrong answer of the game is worth a tidy 4,000 bucks. There you go. Yes. Here's one I like to call Calcutta her a break. I miss Mother Teresa. She was always healing the sickly, feeding the hungry, and I like how she looked exactly like Yogi Berra in drag. That woman was a saint. In fact, if the Catholic Church decides to make Mother Teresa a saint using her actual first name, what will she be known as? Saint Helen, Saint Teresa, Saint Agnes, or Saint Ides? You know, I think her real name was Agnes, but Saint Helen was a volcano. One right answer coming up. Mother Teresa's real name was Agnes Gonsha Bajaksu. Yeah, probably would have gone by Teresa myself. And the church really does think about marketability when they name saints. St. Francis of Assisi, one of the most popular Catholic saints, was actually born Frank Pudding Pop McDonkey Pants. Much like Mount St. Helens, this choice really blew. But want to know something that doesn't blow? Your new lava lampshade from Hawaii Hal's Lava Lamp Accessories. For when you want your mind blown, just not as much. Today's wrong answer of the game is worth a whopping $8,000. Enjoy. How about a medical nightmare on Elm Street? Which of these frightening medical conditions would not cause Freddy Krueger to vigorously scratch himself with his finger knives? Psoriasis, shingles, eczema, halitosis. I know the answer is halitosis, but since we're dealing with something with roofs, how about shingles? Allow me. Got it. Unlike psoriasis, eczema, and shingles, which cause itching, halitosis causes bad breath. Although it's probably safe to say Freddy Krueger has also not brushed his teeth in a long time. Freddy would certainly be scratching with shingles. And speaking of things that are shingled, you've won roof carpet from Shaggy's Roof Carpeting. For gutter to gutter plushness, nobody beat Shaggy's. You'll be happy to know this wrong answer of the game comes with $4,000. Congrats. I'll need it. Sounds like a good day to me. And on its way, enter Sandman. If Spider-Man shared the exact same physiology with a spider, what would he rely on to hear the Sandman coming from behind him? His leg hairs, his web, his front teeth, or his ears? Web, huh? I think he relies on his leg hairs, but... The web is just too tempting to pass up here for a wrong answer. Want to see the answer? Got it! Because they do not have ears, spiders rely on their leg hair to pick up vibrations around them. So with those blue tights, Spider-Man would pretty much be deaf. Spider-Man, I've come to kill you! What? I said I've come to kill you! Mildew? <laughs> no, the web is not helpful here. <laughs> But you want to know what the web is good for? The internet in book form. Just like the one you won from the internet, the book company. Now that because is a book. the internet is in book form, you can read the internet anytime. This wrong answer of the game has netted you an extra 4,000. Congratulations. Can we get it on an e-reader? We needed that. Coming up next, if it's not Harry Potter, it's trash. 
Time to get trashed. What's up with that pause? Hmm, this trash seems to be coming of age nicely. Let's see what we got. The severed head of a pig, a pair of cracked children's glasses, and a broken conch shell. Looks like somebody's been recreating a famous novel in their spare time. Which novel is it? James and the Giant Peach, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, Lord of the Flies, or Oliver Twist? You know, I think that's supposed to be Lord of the Flies, but Oliver Twist was an orphan. Where's that confusion? And I'm right! right answer. A pig head on a stick, the glasses of the character Piggy, and the all-powerful conch shell are all important symbols in the classic novel, Lord of the Flies. I always thought that book was pretty anticlimactic. They just go out and buy some fly paper? Cheap. No, they'd need to get an orphan in there somewhere for it to be Oliver Twist. And speaking of getting orphans, you just got... A middle-aged orphan from the It's Never Too Late Adult Orphanage. Because the middle-aged need love, too. This wrong answer of the game just got you an extra 4,000 smackers. Congratulations. Yes, it would be. Take a good look at nights and daytime talk shows. Imagine King Arthur gets transported from his round table to the table on the view. Applying round table principles, who would be considered the head of the table? Barbara Walters, because she's the oldest. King Arthur, because he is a king. Whoopi Goldberg, because she tells the best stories. Or nobody, because everyone's equal. Uh, the head of the table is no... Wait, 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 whoopee, whoopee cushions. Want to see the right answer? <laughs> The fundamental purpose of the round table is that no one man is head and that everyone has equal status. But King Arthur always gets to sit next to the guest, especially when a sweet dish like Richard Gere is on. Mmm, tasty. Whoopee! Oh, you got it wrong. I just like saying that. Whoopee! Just like I like to say, you've just won. A silent but deadly whoopee cushion from Uncle Farty's Specialty Whoopee Cushions. The SBD is the only whoopee cushion that releases a fart smell instead of a fart sound. This wrong answer of the game got you $4,000. Nice job. I don't want to know how they pulled them. Bucker up for Rock Out With Your Spleen Out. Which of these bands' music would be, anatomically speaking, made of keratin? The Flaming Lips, The Shins, Nine Inch Nails, or The Black Eyed Peas? Watch how easy this is. Nails and hair are chock full of keratin. I have no idea what I'd do with Nine Inch Nails. Probably give myself extensive brain damage when I pick my nose. That answer was not Fergilicious. But it was beanie, so get your mouth ready because it's batch up the baked bean sauce condiment. All the flavor of delicious baked beans without the unnecessary beans. You batch up, it's not ketchup. This wrong answer of the game has earned you a sweet 8,000 clams. Well done. Blood and chicken is picking out a mate. Take a good look at Skeletor sliced it into the sand trap again. If He-Man became master of the golf universe by winning the Masters tournament, what would he wear? Leather boots and a red jacket, a battle axe holster and a yellow jacket, a blonde wig and a blue jacket, or a fur speedo and a green jacket? Huh. Yellow jacket. I know they wear a green jacket at the Masters, but... Yellow jacket Time sounds suspicious to me. No, no, I'll get this. Yep. The winner of golf's Masters Tournament is given a green jacket. It's classy, really. Who wants a trophy or a plaque? If I ever start my own prestigious golf tournament, I'm going to give the winner a nice pair of slacks. Yellow jacket. That must sting. And what better way to take this sting away than with... A B beard trimmer, courtesy of Buzzkill B beard trimmer. Hey, Who gets smoke. you that perfect just attack by a swarm of bees look every time? Buzz does. Today's wrong answer of the game gets you another 8,000 on top of your current score. Sweet. We'll give me.
Here we have... None of this news is fit to print. Have you ever heard of the six W's? The six one-word interrogative questions a journalist needs to know to get a full story? Well, if USA Today decided to hire one specialized reporter for each of the six W's of journalism, who would they not hire? A whore, a wire, a witcher, or a hower? I so wanted you to pick this one. The six W's of journalism are who, what, where, when, why, and the tricky one, how. Okay, sometimes they're referred to as the five W's and an H. But as is the protocol in print journalism, accuracy goes out the window in favor of what sounds good. A wire? No, they definitely hire a wire. Just like you've definitely won. Some wires from Ted's Wires, your one-stop shop for wire enthusiasts. This wrong answer of the game nets you a handsome 8,000 bucks. Yeah, you're welcome. Hold me, never let me go. Up next, I'm working on my resume this Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. If monster trucks wanted to advance their careers, which of these Grave real Digger's monster be trucks would need to crush the CFA exam? Undertaker! Bounty Undertaker, Hunter! Okay. The Broker! Defender! Well, the CFA exam has nothing to do with undertaking, but, you know, graves and coffins and all that. The correct answer is... The CFA, or Chartered Financial Analyst Exam, is something a broker would need to do well on. And I guess if it were looking for a job, then it would naturally log on to monster.com. No, he could use an apprenticeship. You know what else he could use? A recreational coffin for the living, just like the one you just won from the I'm Not Dead Coffins for the Living store. Because who says you need to be a cadaver in order to be treated like one? Today's wrong answer of the game brings you an extra $8,000. Surprise. Dad. Where's the bomb girl? Rock my world girl. Wow. Ooh, yeah. This is not a good episode for Coming me, folks. Up. And introducing Brad Zap with the son. Cut. Which difficult celebrity name have I misspelled? Jake Gyllenhaal, Shia LaBeouf, Scarlett Johansson, or Zach Galifianakis? I think Gyllenhaal. No, Shia LaBeouf is probably misspelled. But Scarlett? The Red? Maybe? No, no, I'll get that. I got it! Shia LaBeouf is the only name here that is misspelled. Next up, how to pronounce Chew the Tell I Gia for. Nah, that's spelled right. But before you start seeing red, you should know that picking Scarlet has won you the color red from the Red Council, because every other color sucks. This wrong answer of the game has earned you four thousand dollars. I don't spend mind it all in one red, place. but I like blue. Question Why not try the Vinyl Frontier? So, back in 1977, the Voyager spacecraft was launched into space to explore Saturn and beyond. On board was a golden record containing different kinds of music for anyone who discovered it to listen to. And there's a German academic who says he thinks that aliens may have hijacked the craft because it's sending strange messages back to Earth. I know! Anyway, considering the only rock and roll song included on the Voyager spacecraft's golden record, how might the aliens greet us? Imagine there's no heaven, Earthlings, and then die. Go, go, go. Take us to your leader, Johnny B. Good. Carry on, my wayward son. There'll be peace never. Or we've taken the stairway to heaven to kill you all. Carry on. Ready for this? Yep. Chuck Berry's Johnny B. Good is currently hurtling through the vastness of space. The most recent Mars probe was full of Metallica albums, but I think that was more a means of disposal. There if are no their Kansas songs one, yeah. on the Voyager Golden Record. <laughs> but speaking of carry-ons, you've just won... A suitcase suit from the suitcase suit warehouse. Huh. You don't have to check your baggage because you are the baggage. This wrong answer of the game comes with a bundle of cash worth $8,000.
Congratulations. That could actually be handy. So far, not much appealing there. Here's a good oh, one. Well. Your four-foot grandma isn't very grand. You know, I expect a certain amount of excellence out of everything I do, everywhere I go. Yes, from now on, only the grandest things for Cookie Masterson. I'm only going to eat 100 grands. I'm only going to play Grand Theft Auto. I'm worth it. Which of these vacation destinations would be the least grand? Arizona's Canyon, Australia's Barrier Reef, Tennessee's Ole Opry, or Wyoming's Teton? You gotta be... I know the Great Barrier Reef, but now pay attention. It you was know, the Grand Canyon, the Grand Ole Opry, and the Grand Teton, but Australia's Barrier Reef is merely great. The rest of the world could learn a little something from America when it comes to naming things. Oh, Australia, you have a Great Barrier Reef. Oh, China, what's that? A Great Wall. Well, welcome to America, where everything is mother grand. Boom. You're welcome. No, Wyoming's Teton is a Grand Teton. <laughs> and speaking of Tetons, that's the French word for the tip of a breast. And that means you've just won breast implants for squirrels from the Breast Vet Cosmetic Animal Enhancements. Give your squirrels the boost in confidence they so desperately deserve. This wrong answer of the game has earned you a sweet 8,000 clams. Well done. I have nothing to say. Take a good look at the City Beautificationator. If Governor Schwarzenegger wanted to make the City of Angels more angelic with pooty murals, what would you find throughout Los Angeles? Baby angels playing near Grauman's Theater? Warrior angels guarding the Hollywood sign? Harpist angels playing a Capitol Tower? Or angel hair flowing through Rodeo Drive? Oh, uh, well, let's see. I think that's... wait, angel hair. Were you thinking of this one? The pooty are those chubby naked baby angels flying around in Renaissance paintings. And perhaps their sweet cherubic innocence will have a profound impact on the city during the 15 minutes before they're all tagged with gang signs. Angel hair? That's impossible. And in your pasta bowl, you'll find... A pasta curling iron from Mama Leone's Pasta Beauty Parlor. Never have a dull, limp noodle again. This wrong answer of the game nets you a handsome 8,000 bucks. Yeah, you're welcome. Depending on the enemy. Take a good look at. Look over there, suck up. If the kids from the Animorph book series were to transform into animals that created a diversion whenever they were in trouble, what would they morph oh, into? Skunk. Pink flamingos, red herrings, blue whales, or white rabbits? Oh, the red herring pink flamingo. It's a long shot, but pink flamingos and lawns go together. Let me show you something. <laughs> A red herring is an expression used when something draws attention away from the central issue. I just thought it would be funny to have red herrings be the actual correct answer to a question. Yeah, turns out it wasn't as funny as I thought. But hey, thanks for playing along. No, pink flamingos are used for lawns, not diversions. And you want to know what else is used for lawns? Lawn wax. Like what you just won from the Lawn Wax Company. Because when your lawn needs a landing strip, use Lawn Wax. This wrong answer of the game is worth $4,000. Congratulations. Apparently it is a loop. Hold me, never let me go. That one just occurred to me. It actually could count. How about they gave Kenny a horrible disorder? You bastards! Which South Park character appears to suffer from hydrocephalus? Mr. Hanky, Mr. Slave, Mr. Hand, or Mr. Mackey? Okay, it would be Mr. Mackey, but Mr. Hand, come on. Ready for this? Hydrocephalus causes enlargement of the head due to excess fluid buildup, and Mr. Mackey has an enormous head. Hydrocephalus can be a serious condition, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure he's going to be okay. <laughs> No, Mr. Hand is a hand puppet. Which will come in handy with your brand new hand puppet lube from the folks at Felt Up Hand Puppet Lube. Goodbye chapping, never get caught red-handed again. 
Today's wrong answer of the game is accompanied by an $8,000 cash bonus. Have at it. You know, I don't remember. You know, just the toilets would help, right? Up next, Baby made a mess in his portfolio. I don't think that E-Trade Baby should be sitting around relying on somebody else to make a movie about him and get rich. I think he should just be investing in his own thrilling biopic. Suppose the E-Trade Baby uses all his earnings to produce a movie remake. If it makes as much international box office money as the original, which film would be most profitable? E-Trade Baby Mama, Rosemary's E-Trade Baby, Three Men and an E-Trade Baby, or Million Dollar E-Trade Baby? Million. Wait, 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 herbs, rosemary. One right answer coming up. Million Dollar Baby was outclassed by three men and a baby in the U.S., but worldwide, Million Dollar Baby crushed it with over 200 million in gross revenue. I would love to see a movie starring the E-Trade Baby. I would also like to light myself on fire. Oh, bad investment. I could probably take care of at least one of those Maybe you were thinking about rosemary and how you could use... A bag of, um, oregano, courtesy of herbs. Totally herbs. oregano. Spicing up your life one tiny baggie of herbs. Nothing suspicious at here at all. Today's wrong answer of the game is worth a tidy 4,000 bucks. There you go. Completely. Question. And turned around. Open wide for my teeth are falling out and everyone has dog faces. Oh, God. Oh, man. Last night Nocturnal I watched a movie admission? and ate three boxes of toaster pastries, and as happens, I fell asleep and had the craziest dream. I'm bad at these, but I like them. So in this dream, I was invited to a mysterious gathering during a thunderstorm at this mansion with all these strangers, except one of the strangers was my cat Poopsie, and one was my cat Mayonnaise. And my mom was there, but she was murdered. I've been murdered! And we had to figure out which one of us was this the murderer. Is the weirdest part of the dream is that there were four different endings. What could possibly be the movie I was watching last night? Click, Clerks, Clue, or Closer? It's... Wait. Remotes. Movie about a remote. Here's what a right answer looks Aha! like. Aha! Oh, yeah. Ha -ha! Ooh, that was the movie I watched last night. I know it was just a dream, but I should probably call my mom and make sure she's all right. I've been murdered! So I can't take your call right now. Leave your message after the beep. That's weird. No, that's the movie where Adam Sandler gets the crazy super-powered remote control. <laughs> sort of like what you're about to get because you've just won... A remote controlled universal remote control from ultimate control remote controlled universal remote control They gave a wheels. Tired of I like using that. your remote control in person? Well, you're in luck because now you can use your remote controlled universal remote control. This wrong answer of the game is worth 8,000 bucks for you. Nice job. How Everybody, avian Duh. bird funk. So maybe you've heard of the legendary funk band George Clinton and Parliament Funkadelic. Oh, and if yes. you haven't, just pretend that you have. It'll make you look cooler. If George Clinton wanted to incorporate a parliament of birds into his live show, what would be featured on stage? Funkadelic crows, funkadelic owls, funkadelic turkeys, or funkadelic eagles? And crows is a murder of crows. Owls, wait, murder of crows. Let me show you something. A group of owls is known as a parliament. Another group that should try this owl thing would be the Who. Who? That would be a <laughs> funkadelic murder of crows. And you're gonna love this to death. A murder to do checklist from You Planet Murder Supplies. For all your murder I like planning to watch needs, CSI. You Planet. Our savings are so suspicious. Catch her in the right. Oh. Today's wrong That's answer of the game is worth a whopping $8,000. Enjoy. Fuck her up for the uptight love boat. 
Which one of these movie titles contains roughly the amount of time it took the Mayflower to sail from England to America in 1620? Eight crazy nights, 28 days later, nine and a half weeks, or nine months? You know, I think it took nine and a half weeks, but we are talking fetus and all that, so nine months, huh? Here's what you meant all to right. pick. Yeah. It took the Mayflower 66 days, or roughly 9.5 weeks, to land in America. And it only took nearly 400 years afterward for the sham wow to be invented. No, well, we that's the time there. it took a pilgrim to have a baby pilgrim. Right next to the slot chain. And you know what that pilgrim baby wish it had? A fetus doll! Just like the one you won from the Bedroom Buddies Fetus Doll Factory. Because nine months is just too long to wait for a doll. You'll be happy it to know like this wrong gourd. answer. The game comes with $4,000. Congrats. Coming up next, more garbage than meets the eye. If Transformers director Michael Bay only used the editing technique where overlapping images fade into one another during scene transitions, what would his Transformer name be? Jump Cutter, Cutaway, Cross Cutter, or Dissolver? Here's where the money is. A dissolve is when one scene gradually blends into the next one. Another thing that dissolves in those movies are the rational plot lines. I think you're crossed up. You know what else is crossed up? The vitamin holy water you just won from the Vitamin Holy Water Company. Vitamin Holy Water, the only drink fortified with vitamins and the Holy Spirit. Today's wrong answer of the game earns you 4,000 bucks. Enjoy. That's a possibility, really. Here we have, you're fired. Now marry me. On which special version of The Apprentice might Donald Trump ask contestants to perform a Trump marriage? The Pinata Apprentice, the Pinochle Apprentice, the Pinochet Apprentice, or the Pinafore Apprentice? You know, I'm pretty sure Trump marriage is card games so only play breakable party favors. Pinata. I'm so honestly. A Trump marriage occurs in the game of Pinochle. I think Trump's wedding vows sort of went like this. I promise that this is going to be the biggest marriage of all time. Really, just a great, classy, super successful marriage that will tower over and dwarf all the other marriages. And it's really just going to be top notch all the way. A Trump marriage has nothing to do with a pinata. But guess what you've won? A glass piñata from Loco Louis Breakable Party Favors. Shoes, gloves, goggles, and helmet not included. This wrong answer of the game Did just got you next to 4,000 smackers. Congratulations. They're, they need to be broken anyway. Aww. It's not the happiest way to go. Ooh, yeah. Open wide for... I would totally tap that word. I don't understand why people have those crazy smartphones with a full QWERTY keyboard built in. I don't understand it. I'm perfectly fine with my faithful old cell phone that's barely a step up from a landline. And anyway, I've got the hang of this one. I can text like a jackrabbit on it. For example, which of the following words can I spell on my phone using only one button? Struts, feeded, oops, or putty? Uh, that, that, uh, it's, it's, Defeated, but they give you the answer. Look at that. Now pay attention. I can spell the word feeded by hitting the three button 11 times. Hold on, I just need to text this girl I'm trying to get to go out with me. Just a sec. Let's see here. And where's the P? And now, oh, forget this, I'll just fax her. 78889 spells putty. And you'll be texting all your friends about putty soon. As you just won some nighttime putty. It's just like regular putty, but for nighttime. Your late night buddy is nighttime putty. I'll find out what Today's wrong answer of the, the game is worth a tidy four thousand bucks. If you don't bucks. hear from me, there you, go. you know why. Eh, makes sense to me. Here we have. But I like my kneecaps. Oh, hold on. Let me take this. Hello? Yeah, hey, it's me. Where's my 
cabbage. Oh, hi, Sling Jimmy. Cabbage? Oh, right, the money I owe you. See, I was gonna... Look, I'll be there in a Howard. Have my cheddar, or I'll snip off your joystick. Oh, oh, oh okay then. Yeah. Bye, Jimmy. Oh, man. I innocently borrowed $200 from this guy named Slang Jimmy, and now he's coming by to collect the cabbage, plus 100% interest. Which slang amount should I have ready for him? Two C-notes, three Benjamins and ten Sawbucks, ten Jacksons and three Fins, or twenty large? Fins, huh? C-notes or Fins? Sound. Watch the clock. The correct answer is... Yep, there it is. A Benjamin is slang for a $100 bill, and a sawbuck is a 10, so $200 at 100% interest. I owe him 400 bucks or three Benjamins and 10 sawbucks. Maybe he'd be happy with a copy of You Don't Know Jack instead. I mean, he said something about snipping off my joystick, so he must like video games, right? He's gonna need a lot more than three fins. And speaking of fins, you know what you've just won? A dolphin-fueled car from Gas of the Sea Dolphin-Fueled Cars. It's transportation with a porpoise. Today's wrong oh, answer that was get horrible. you 8,000 on top of your current funny. score. Sweet. Here. Where's the bomb girl? Yeah, yeah. Next up, never date a princess. Assuming it's true that gentlemen prefer blondes, which of these Disney dates would a gentleman most prefer? A hot tub dip with Ariel? A magic carpet ride with Jasmine? A Wonderland picnic with Alice? Or a canoe trip with Pocahontas? You know, Alice was blonde, but Ariel's a mermaid. Were you thinking of this one? Alice from Alice in Wonderland is the only Disney lady here who's blonde. But really, is it gentlemen who prefer blondes, or is it more dudes? I think they should change it to dudes prefer blondes. And just give gentlemen their own phrase like, gentlemen prefer monocles and chablis. Ariel the mermaid is not a blonde. But speaking of mermaids, you want some fresh and ready mermaid eggs from the one and only Chick of the Sea Mermaid Starter Kits. Strong, beautiful, and obedient, that's a Chick of the Sea Mermaid. Now, odorless. This wrong answer of the game odorless. has earned you $4,000. Don't spend it all in one place. This one's known as Misters of the Universe. Which mister has a missus? Mr. Clean, Mr. Big, Mr. Echo, or Mr. T? I don't know, but Mr. Clean is bald as hell. No, no, I'll get this. Although the others are bachelors, Sex in the City's Mr. Big has been married a couple of times, most recently to Carrie Bradshaw. Also married was Mr. Rogers. You never saw his wife on the show, but he always insisted that we just missed her. Mr. Clean is unattached, despite the fact that the ladies love his muscles and bald head. <laughs> Just like how everyone will love this bald cap from Jack's Bald Caps and Hairless Knickknacks. Finally, a workable solution walk. for those cursed with a full head of hair. This wrong answer of the game has netted you an extra 4,000. Congratulations. One. I can't believe Next I called up, that. Tall, dark, and ah! Have you shopped at a specialty designer clothing store called Big and Tall and Polydactyl? What item could you purchase? Husky Levi's jeans with three legs, large four-toe wide candy shoes, huge Burton ski gloves with six fingers, or matching Chanel nose rings for two noses. Okay, Polydactyl means six fingers, but candy. Watch the time. One right answer coming up. Polydactyly is a condition in which a person has more than five fingers or toes on a hand or foot. That happens to really complicate things when trying to give someone the middle finger. Looks like this little piggy had none. Or did it? You just won a candy syringe from Lil Smacky's Candy Contraband. Lil Smacky's Candy Contraband. We'll find your sweets while you find a vein. This wrong answer of the game got you $4,000. Nice job. Works for me. Walking chickens picking out a mate. Oh, 
is a merry eight. Take a stab at... Partly cloudy with a chance of space battles. Hmm. Sorry, just a second. I want to listen to this speculative fiction weather report. The weather today calls for a continued desert heat across the entire planet with a 0% chance of rainfall. Also, there's a giant sandworm warning until the foreseeable future. Hmm, Doom. what fictional planet was that weather Arrakis. report for? Hoth, Pandora, Arrakis, or Caprica? It's Arrakis from Dune, but... Pandora's box, man. Smart people choose this. Arrakis, the planet from the Dune books, movie, and miniseries, is a desert planet plagued by giant sandworms. I get all kind of weird stations with this satellite radio. Overall, trading in Wonderland was down today on the heels of the Cheshire Cat failing to obtain bailout money from the Queen of Hearts. No, that's the planet she from Avatar that was named money. after the Greek myth of Pandora's box. <laughs> and speaking of boxes that may or may not contain all of the world's evil, you've just won... A Mysterious Box from Mysterious Boxes Incorporated. It's a box. Do whatever you want with it. But be warned, if you open it, there's an outside chance it may mean the end of the world as we know it. Today's wrong I'll answer, the game brings you an extra $8,000. Surprise. I'd like to know how you got that. On second thought, Up I next, wouldn't. do you believe in miracles? Yes! Hey, remember the miracle on the Hudson? You know, the hero pilot that landed U.S. Airways Flight 1548 oh, okay. right there on the Hudson River? It was like the ending to a Disney movie. I half expected animated bluebirds to show up and carry the passengers to shore. Anyway, that got me thinking. The lovable captain of the Miracle on the Hudson plane shares a nickname with which lovable Pixar character? The piggy bank from Toy Story, the head monster from Monsters, Inc., the lead rat from Ratatouille, or the little boy from The Incredibles? I have no idea, but we are talking about, you know, gerbil and rat grease. Watch how easy this is. Yep. You didn't sully yourself on this one. They're both nicknamed Sully. Captain Chelsea Sully Sullenberger and the monster James P. Sully Sullivan. Huh. They spell their Sullys differently, but the spell they cast on our hearts is the same. Rats. <laughs> our rodents. And they could sure make good use of your wrong answer of the game prize. Gerbil Grease from Lube Rats, Gerbil, and Rodent Grease. Because there's nothing worse than a dry rodent. This wrong answer of the game is worth $4,000. Congratulations. There are many things worse. Please don't have, have Donnie come in for the rest of this episode. Here's one I like to call, Did You Know Jack? Apparently not. If we were playing a version of You Don't Know Jack in 1950, what would be the only feasible way you could send me your answer to this question? Call me on my toll-free 1-800 number, transmit your answer via your CB radio, email your answer to me, or post your answer to a BBS. Well, CB, call me. This would have worked. Aha! The first CB radio was invented in 1945, so you would technically be able to call in your answer on a CB, good buddy. We'd play you a clip from the 1950s version of You Don't Know Jack, but it turns out there isn't a single question we can show that isn't incredibly politically incorrect. It was a different time. No one would have heard about toll-free numbers until the late 60s. But you can hear about all kinds of numbers with this. Your new telephone directory audiobook from Yellow Pages Audio Telephone Books. Let your fingers do the walking. Over to your audio device so they can press play and then you can listen. You'll be happy to know this wrong answer of the game comes with $4,000. Congrats. Castration Take a jokes. stab at okay. Philly Fanatic Filet. Suppose an NBA All-Star game didn't get catered and the players resorted to eating the team mascots. Which Ew. of these pieces of mascot meat could be served as a flank steak? The Sun's Gorilla's chest, Benny the Bull's eye, Hip Hop the Rabbit's shoulder, or Bango the Buck's abs? You know, it's sitting right there. Watch how easy this is. A flank cut of meat is the abdominal muscles of the animal. 
darts. Of course, if you're going to eat a sports mascot, he's probably going to taste a little gamey. <laughs> bullseye? Missed the mark on that one. <laughs> but get ready to take aim with a brand new set of car darts, courtesy of Safety Co's car darts. Now with even sharper darts. This wrong answer of the game has earned you $4,000. Don't spend it all in one place. I know place. who to re-gift that to. May I introduce... I'd rather be an old maid than a young nerd. If you lost your regular card deck and had to play poker with Magic the Gathering cards, what would a full house look like? Two Black Knights, two Fireballs, and an Elvish Fury, two Shivan Dragons, and three Grizzly Bears, two Hearts of Ramos, two Hearts of Bogart, and one Heart of Light, or three Deliriums, a Throne of Bone, and a Void. Here's what a right answer looks like. In poker, a full house is three of a kind combined with two of a kind. But hey, why play poker when you've got Magic the Gathering cards, am I right? That's 7 to 12 consecutive hours of inconclusive gameplay right there. A and you can still play tomorrow after you spend your entire allowance on even more cards. Five hearts isn't a full house. Five hearts would be a flush. Just like the exciting flush that will follow every use of your new... Leather Toilet Paper by High End Brand Leather Toilet Paper. Because your end is high end. This wrong answer of the game is worth 8,000 bucks for you. Nice job. It's, that's actually not a bad joke. Really, it's not. Bucker up for putting the gel in evangelical. You. So, you know these big mega churches with the rockin' blue jeans wearing tattoo having preacher dudes that run them? There's one in my neighborhood that's always showing free screenings of these hip action packed religious movies. So, I was wondering if these mega churches lived up to their name, what would I see if I attended one of their free religious movie screenings? 100 people viewing Moses with two tablet PCs of laws? 100,000 believers witnessing God tase the infidels? 1 million worshippers seeing Noah airlift? animals or one billion members watching Jesus tweet a sermon watch the clock tablets correct answer ha! show yourself the prefix mega means one million so a mega church would be packed to the hilt with a million mega churchgoers my favorite part of that film is when Noah says I've had it with all these male and female mother snakes on this mother plane there'll be more than that watching Moses and his tablets. <laughs> and there'll be a lot more than two tablets for you because you've won assorted pills from Dr. Lenny's assorted pills. Dr. Lenny says pills are medicine and medicine is good for you. Dr. Lenny's pills are medicine and may or may not be good for you. This wrong answer of the game <laughs> is worth $4,000. Congratulations. Blocking chickens picking out a mate. Try this on for size. Fox News, stop making sense. Which of the following is a talking head interviewing a talking head? Bill O'Reilly grilling Bono? Anderson Cooper questioning David Byrne? Greta Van Susteren talking with Michael Stipe? Or Wolf Blitzer tossing softballs at Ben Gibbard? Here's where the money is. David Byrne was in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame band, The Talking Heads. I'd also like to see Glenn Beck interview Beck. It'd be fun to see who could out-crazy the other. Now, that would be a member of R.E.M. being interviewed by Greta Van. But you know what would be even Greta? If you won a new van. Yes, you've won a pre-airbrushed van from Vance Van Van's Van Lot. When you think Vans, think Vance Van Van. Today's wrong answer of the game is worth a whopping $8,000. Enjoy. This one's known as a classic piece of junk. 
I've been looking to buy a previously owned car, and I found that wherever the listing says a car is vintage, it usually means it has over 100,000 miles, or doesn't have a steering wheel. If CarMax started selling vintage cars instead of used cars, which of these popular vintage models would be the oldest and most vintage? A classic first-year Toyota Corolla, a first-year Ford Taurus in perfect condition, a fully restored first-year Dodge Stratus, or a rare first-year Honda Civic? Stratus! One right answer coming up. Toyota Corolla was first manufactured in 1966, making this car the oldest and most vintage. And let me tell you, if you've never been in a 66 Toyota Corolla, the back seat rides like a dream. Stratus, get your head out of the clouds. And put your name on them instead. With a cloud named after you from the cloud <laughs> registry. Immortalize yourself in the sky until it rains. This wrong answer of the game has earned you a sweet 8,000 clams. Well done. I'm so sneaky. Hello. Here's one I like to call, gentlemen like to be solicited. Which literary gentleman might receive a direct mailer for a gentleman's club if the mailer were sent to the Pemberley estate? Rhett Butler or current love interest? Mr. Darcy or current male protagonist? Heathcliff or current vengeful lover? Or Ernest Worthing or other? And Pemberley estate, never heard of it. Now wait, 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 wait. Were you thinking of uh -huh. this one? Mr. Fitzwilliam Darcy, the male protagonist in Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice, lived at Pemberley. Did they even have gentlemen's clubs in 1800s London? Kindly remove your outer garments. Now would you please take off your foundation garments? Yes, quite lovely. Heathcliff? Well, the cat's out of the bag. And so is its riding gear. You want a cat saddle from our sponsor, <laughs> Meow! Inappropriate cat accessories. If your cat could thank you, it probably wouldn't. Today's <laughs> wrong answer of the game is accompanied by an $8,000 cash bonus. Have at it. <laughs> could be. I'm not much of a Dean Coons fan either. Try this on for size. Saturday Night Life. Which of these modern era SNL cast members wasn't alive the Saturday night that Saturday Night Live first debuted? Seth Meyers, Kristen Wiig, Bill Hader, or Will Forte? Hmm. Which one's the youngest? Kristen Wiig, probably. Oh, honestly. Nope. Bill Hader was born in 1978, but... three years after SNL's 1975 premiere. There are a couple other cast members who are younger than the show, but I can never remember their names. Girl who never gets in any scene, other girl who pretty much never gets in any scenes, and guy who mostly just raps. <laughs> Not unless Wig is the only actress in history to lie about her age in the opposite direction. <laughs> and speaking of wigs, you've just won a bag of hair from the Just Hair Hair Superstore. Use it to make a wig, stuff a disgusting pillow, or just as a conversation starter. A bag of hair. All up for this the wrong pillow. answer of the game just got you an extra 4,000 no, smackers. Can, Congratulations. Yeah. This one's called, Where the Wild Things Are. Oh man, I love the children's book, Where the Wild Things Are. But tell me this, if instead of Let the Wild Rumpus Begin, Max yelled, Let the Wild Ructus Begin, what would the new book be called? Uh, where the Wild Farts Are, Where the Wild uh, Burps Are, Where the Wild Whizzes Are, or Where the Wild Boogers Are? I'm not really sure, but considering the sponsor. Ready for this? A ructus or eructation is a burp or belch. I learned how to burp on command when I was about six, and it always makes me feel like a kid again when I do it. <coughs> Ow! My hernia! And my acid reflux! Sadly, <laughs> no. But since you're clearly a flatulence enthusiast, you've just won 
A wazoo kazoo from Tootie's butt kazoos and anal instruments. Because everybody's moon deserves its own tune. Tootie's wazoo kazoo. Just pucker up and everybody's blow one. Today's wrong answer of the game earns you 4,000 bucks. Ow. Enjoy. I think I'm... I call this one chicken soup for the organs. If the eyes are the windows to the soul, what is your spleen? The vacuum to your blood, the garbage disposal to your intestines, the screen door to your gallbladder, or the attic fan to your colon? I don't like any of these. But I do like the word colon there. Here's what a right answer Aha. looks like. One of the main functions of the spleen is to clean your blood by removing particles of debris. And as I've learned the hard way, don't forget to change the bag every month or so. That colon answer, colon blows. But luckily, you're about to look colon sharp in this brand new punctuation suit from the Grammar Garments and Punctuation Pants Warehouse. The best place to find a suit with a comma, colon, or question mark at the best prices. Period. Now we Today's wrong the answer of the game gets you another 8,000 on top of your current score. Sweet. Yes. But things would be much less interesting. Let's yeah. try. Everybody should spice. have equal access to touch this. Based on the prominent symbol, which communist DJ would be best paired with MC Hammer to complete his next album? DJ Handsaw, DJ All, DJ Sickle, or DJ Scythe? Or you four. Yeah, we have to, don't we? The Scythe. Yep. The correct answer is the hammer and sickle make up one of the prominent symbols of communism. And we got it. MC yep. Hammer and DJ Sickle. Too legit to quit the fight for the redistribution of giant puffy pants. That answer was grim. And so will be your next night's sleep. With your head relaxing on a Grim Reaper shaped pillow from the Grim Reaper Depot. I actually want one. Avenger of savings. This it looks wrong so answer cuddly. of the game has netted you an extra 4,000. Congratulations. <laughs> Here's one I like to call error question name file not found. Uh -oh. In my free time, I've been learning some computer programming. Hopefully someday I'll be able to make my own game. It'll be a lot better than this one. Anyway, I'm having trouble coming up with tricks to remember what all the different file types are. What would be the best clue to help me remember what a jar file does? Cookie.jar, coffee.jar, peanut butter.jar, or swear.jar? Oh. Cookie.jar, huh? Not the right one, but you know. Correct answer, show yourself. Jar files are commonly associated with the application Java. Java. You know, as in coffee. And trust me, you're totally gonna wanna play this game I'm gonna make. It's, it's, it's gonna be like Grand Theft Auto meets Call of Duty meets Animal Crossing. As long as I can kill Tom No. No, but I'm flattered you chose my name. And you should be thrilled too. Because you just won Billy O'Brien. Compliments of Cookie Master. God damn it, no. Store. And I just want to bet that I could actually get someone to take the damn dummy off my hands. Hey. Shut it, Billy. This wrong answer of the game comes with a bundle of cash worth $8,000. Congratulations. I don't want it.